before we get into today's video just want to thank you guys so much for helping the channel hit 100 subs it's a great thing to wake up to today and also if you are new and you have not yet already hit the subscribe button please do so as like 96 percent of you that watch my videos are not subscribed not going to waste any more of your time just want to say thank you and let's get into today's video today at the weekly reset time deep stone crypt will be farmable for the first time in season 19 in this video we're going to be breaking down which weapons drop from which encounters as well as all of the challenges linked to these encounters so that you have the highest chance of getting these red border weapons obviously every encounter is farmable and every challenge is repeatable so you are able to farm out these weapons to the max if you're new here and you haven't yet already please do subscribe as we're so close to 100 subs but let's get into the video so the first encounter deepstone crypt security the only weapon that drops here is the trusty scout rifle and the challenge is called red rover in this challenge everyone has to use the operator buff so the best way of doing this is obviously start the encounter one person goes down shoots only two panels and then passes the operator buff to the next person who then also shoots the last two panels do this Two more times with the other four members of the fire team and the encounter will be finished and red rover will be complete second encounter the only weapons to drop from atrax one are the heritage shotgun and the succession sniper rifle the challenge is called copies of copies and for this one you just need to not send the atrax one replication debuffs into the airlocks in the top floor of the encounter to do this just have a ricochet round weapon and then you can either shoot the debuff off yourself if you have the operator buff or you can just get the person with the operator buff to constantly keep on shooting the debuff off of you uh, and just juggle the debuffs around with people or just juggle it with yourself for the third encounter the only weapon that drops is the posterity arc hand cannon challenge is called of all trades for this challenge everybody must perform each role at least once so everybody must use the operator buff and a buff and the suppressor buff best way to do this is to use this little chart on screen there will be a link to this chart in the description if you want to grab it for your team uh, just follow the chart and it should be easy peasy for the last encounter the last two weapons being the commemoration machine gun and the bequest sword for this encounter guardians must dunk all four cores before each dps phase this means that you have to dunk all four cores at the same time you cannot do two cores and then another two cores just drop all four bombs and then dunk all four bombs this is the easiest way to do the encounter and this is probably the way that you've normally been doing the encounter anyway so that is all of the challenges all of the encounters and what weapons drop from each encounter if you found the video helpful and you haven't yet already subscribed please do so as we are like 10 subs away from hitting 100 and that'd be really good if we can hit that but that's it for this video and so i'll see you guys in the next one bye